Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLP. It's Monday the 6th of September. We've got some new mods, we've got some awesome mods and possibly the most expensive planter I've ever come across. We've also got some updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the map Bantico by Puma145 and TLS modding. That is a German map. Not a Polish map, I know. When I did the map tour, I wasn't such It's German. It's a German map. The Junkari module trailers by Farmari99. The AGM P310 and bodywork by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. The Massive Ferguson 5650 and 5650 Cutter by Wagner and Holtz FS. The Lizard F350 Super Duty by Agro Tonio. The Old Pickups Pack by Farm Centro Sul. The Slurry Barrel Pack by Pushcap. The MAN TGX26640 TCM by TCM and Dono76. The Ice Cafe by The Lort. Placeable brand logos by Sevi Modding. And New Lands by Gwendal. Have all had updates today. I would suggest for a few of those, the pickup ones, the Super Duty, the two maps, go in and check out the change logs. It's too much for me to read out. The change logs are huge. What's been changed in a lot of those, uh, well worth a look if you're playing on them or you're interested in playing on them. Let's start with what's in front of me then, shall we? We've got the brand sign pack by Mappers Paradise, 5.62 megabytes download. They are one slot each. You'll find them under placeables and decoration, 2,600 to buy. We've got a class sign, a case sign, or case IH, Valtra, Fent, New Holland, John Deere, Borgo, and Massey Ferguson. So if you want to put a brand sign down at your farm or you're setting up a dealership and you want to have a specific thing, that's inside up to you. You don't have to use them at all if you don't want to, obviously. Like I say, they're under placeables and decoration. 2,600 each, one slot. Signs the same on both sides. If that's what you're into. That's my map is paradise. Next, we've got the medium hall. This by Backy, 3.8 megabytes download, seven slots on console. This will cost you 45,000. It is seasons ready and you'll find it under sheds. Now I tried to lower this a little bit when I placed it and it wouldn't let me lower it anymore. There's a bit of a lip here on the entrance. You might get a bit of a bump, kind of bump up as you go in. Nice size. Inside we do have a light switch, which is just tucked around the side. I always come to light on the light switches from an angle now because if you come them straight on you often get the door trigger um, but we do have lighting as you can see nice bright open and airy for storing whatever you want to store in here it's under placeables and sheds like I said for 45 grand lovely next we have got the small and medium sheds this is by Rambo it is two slots for the small shed one slot for the large shed. shed. Uh, 2.08 megabytes download. Hang on. Is that way around? Yeah, it was weirdly. Two and one. Um, 5,000 to buy. 15,000 to buy. Also under placeables and sheds. There's no lighting on these. Um, nicely detailed and textured. From a distance it looks like, like corrugated ridged metal. Obviously, as you get a bit closer, it's a little bit flatter, but wooden construction on the inside. No light switches to find. This one's a bit more of a rusted um, construction, I guess, but without the ridged, more of a pressed metal on that one. Also very nice, small and medium sheds by Rambo. Next, we have got the multi-fruit silo pack. This is by Namog Mod. They are five slots each. It's 3.96 megabytes to download. And this is the small one. <laughs> um, so we've got a small, a medium, and a large multi fruit silo. We will have a look at these. This one is 300,000 litre capacity, multi fruit. That one is 600,000 litre. And the largest of them is 1 million litres per whatever it is you put in there. So I think that one's a two like a two hopper two silo that one's a three that one's a five i think 
or might even be a six. Um, so yeah, 300,000, 600,000, 1 million litres. Uh, you'll find these under placeables and silos. As you can see down the bottom, all the things they take. Small one is 80,000 to buy. Um, slot counts will come down from five to one. Medium one is 130 grand. And the big one is 180 grand for a million litres. Not bad at all. They do take a bit of space though. Like I say, these are more realistic grain sizes. I know we get some silos that give you a 1 million or a 2 or a 10 million litre capacity. And they're tiny. And you think, okay, you know, TARDIS silos. These are a bit more realistic with regard to the, the size and the capacities when you think about it. Um, for each one, we've got this sort of, not domed. Well, I suppose domed in a way. Um arched not domed arched that's it arched um for putting in and taking out is all in the same place so if you're one of those people like me that put stuff in and you want to make total mix ration and stuff it's an absolute result with a loading way uh, with a mixer wagon because you can just put what in what you want in from the top unload directly back into there and you've got a bit of a total mix ration machine if you want to run it that way but yeah very nicely made nice capacities not bad price either. The multi fruit silo pack by Namog Mod. Uh, next, we've got the Polish barrel, which is just here. Uh, it's 4.78 megabytes download. It's made by Jelinek. It is seven slots. You'll find it under animals, and this will take milk or water. It's 1,000 to buy, 2,000 litre capacity. Not really much else to say with that one. Um, like I say, you find it under tools and animals. On the end there, we can change the rim colour. Turn anything on that palette. The main colour, which is the chassis. Turn anything on that palette. There we go. The Polish Barrel by Jelinek. Next, we've got this. And this weird... <laughs> I, I like this a lot. Now, I'm, I'm reading it as the GNU... Could just be new with a kind of new GNU 700. Um, as you can see, it's a tract tractor, 700 horsepower, 700 horsepower. Plus, it goes at 46 miles an hour. But what's great about it as well, the turning, like some, unlike some tract vehicles, when you turn, you, it suddenly whips around, sort of almost out of control. It's very controllable, which I quite like. Um, so the GNU 700, 15.13 megabytes download, 15 slots on console, is by Hemerson Dentino. The price isn't too bad either for a 700 horsepower tractor, but it's really nicely made. It's not kind of, it's not blocky. It's not, it's very crisp, very detailed. I like that front end like that, you know. I just, it just looks different to stuff we've had before, you know. So. You'll find this under large tractors, 350 grand. That's all. 350,000 for a 700 horsepower tractor. There are no options available. If you get it like that, slightly tinted windows, like I say, 46 miles an hour, it's no slouch. Let's hop in. Beacon, lights, top and rear. Horn, interior, like I said, it's a bit tinted, so not safe as you can see, but nicely detailed, everything there. I love that as well on the panel. You can turn the lights on, you get all of the options, shows you where they're all on. To do with the beacon as well? Yep, beacon, look at that, flash on the top. And now... When this thing gets going, it's quite for a tractor one. <laughs> it's a bit perky. He says about being controllable and what you do, just turns it straight into a wall. I found it to be quite controllable until that point. That is rapid. Not bad. Great price. Fantastic horsepower. Rapid. What's not to like? I even like the colour scheme. It might not be up, you know, it might not be what you like. It might not be up your street at all, but I really like that a lot. I 
I may, may even annoy the neighbours and buy one. <laughs> Not real life, obviously. So, that's the new 700 by Hemerson Dentino. I'm going to use that to show you the next mod, which is this. Now, I am absolutely certain. I say that with 95% certainty. Absolutely 95% certain. This is going to have to have an update. Um... This is the uh, is it 1725C 12 row planter by John Deere, as you can see. This is 17.34 megabytes download. Uh, it's 14 slots on console and it's by LR Modding. It's an 11 meter planter and it plants everything. So it does all the crops, plus it's a direct drill. Bit of a result, all of that, all in. So you think, oh, that's good. Until you go to buy it. Now, I'm assuming this is just a... a it, it highlights the importance in maths of the decimal point, I think, is, is what we're looking at here. So let's go, go across to our planters. <clears throat> 1,639,580. That's a bit pricey for an 11 metre planter. Leasing it is a mere 83,618. That has to be wrong, doesn't it? I mean, even, to be fair, though... At an 11 metre planter, I know it does everything and it's a direct drill, that's probably why. If you move it over one decimal place and that brings it to 163,958, which is a bit more realistic, I think, personally, for what it does, it's got to be a decimal point, hasn't it? It really can't be that expensive. So anyway, wow. There's no options available, you get it just like that. Capacity, though, for the tank, and it seeds only, not seed and fertiliser, 12,334 litres. I hope that's not a typo, because that's a brilliant tank size. It really is. Incredibly well detailed. Loads going on on this. Very nice mod by LR Modding. Because, like I say, it's got everything else going for it. Everything else going for it. It would be a pity if... It just... No, it can't be. It just can't be the price. Who in the right mind, who in the real world would buy one? Oh, idiot. Let's back up. <laughs> Three point links gone. Mm -hmm. Well done. So, let's hook it up. So it's got a nice, smooth unfold animation. Each row numbered as you go through. Up and cover, L1 and left on the D-pad. So the cover gets put to one side for when you want to fill it up. Start it up, drop it down. Let's like say, direct drill, 12 metre. Very nice. Now what we also have though, we have uh, like a, a pressure depth adjustment to some degree. I put that on. L1, R1 and right stick side to side will adjust the tyres. So you can kind of raise and lower it a little bit. Which I think is that's the point, is it? It's a bit of a depth and pressure adjustment. But I'm not sure. If I raise that right up, will it allow me to fast? No, because it's not technically in the ground now. I wonder if there is a point. If I lower it, we get to where it will. There we go. Would it go above nine? No, still stays at nine. So let's see if we can try double click on that. No. Okay. It was worth a try. You never know. But yeah, try animation. All the ends. Why is that not now working? If I left the tires too high. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Everyone individually bobbing up and down as it goes. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. I like this one. So there we have it. It's the most expensive planter. 
I think ever on Farming Simulator. That, that goes for all the ones I played, 15, 17 and 90. Break out your checkbooks, people. That's the John Deere 1725C 12 row planter by LR Modding. I am only joking, I know, you know, like I say, I'm not being mean or nasty or anything like that. It just made me smile when I went to, to get it. And I leased it and thought, hang on, that's just at 80 something thousand. That can't be right. Because I didn't even really pay attention to the, the cost until until that point. So, um, yeah. <laughs> hang on. Why is that not turning off? There we go. Had to be open to turn it off. While that's doing that, that brings me on to the last of the mods for today, and this is an absolute beauty as well. This is the Case IH Trident 5550 by Case Arius Modding. And this comes with a few different sections to it. We have the Case 5550 Trident main body with a few different options on it as well. But it's flat on the back with nothing on it. That then has the Trident liquid back, which is 5,300 litres, if I recall correctly, with a couple of options on that. But that has these feet when you put it on the ground to load it onto that. Now, as far as I know, there are no other backs for this yet, just this one. So once it's loaded on, I, th I think you would probably just keep it on there. Um, but then we have the... Which one around? Which around is it? The Trident Tool... Mm, yeah, Trident Tool Lifter and the Quick Change Tool. So I'll show you them all in a minute anyway. But you need that to hook up to that, to hook up to that, to lift it onto that. Which may seem a bit fiddly, but once, like I say, once it's on... I. I don't know why you would take it off again afterwards, in all honesty, unless there are going to be more backs that come with this. So let's have a look first at the vehicle itself, which is under crop protection. So the Trident 5550 is 321,000, which is cheaper than the Rubicon. The Rubicon's got a big capacity, but regards that, options available. We can change the rim colour from standard grey to case IH grey. Then we've got Michelin or Trelleborg tyres. Those are the two options. Under Trelleborg, we've got TM100 4895s, and then we've got 4895 jewels. Those are the two options under Trelleborg. Under Michelin, we've got Agribib 2s, Agribib 2 jewels. We then go up to Yield Bibs and Yield Bib jewels. And then we go to Mark, B Mark X Bibs, but those don't, those don't come in jewels, those just come like that. And then we go back to the Agri Bib. I think I went with Yield Bibs. Now, obviously, for putting on the back, you might want a slightly lower one. It doesn't really, honestly, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Then we've got the option of LED 1, LED 2, which is on the front. It just changes in, that, in the front nose. I think it puts three across the front. And then a multiple, I think, I think as far as I can tell. Then design, no, or field view monitor inside if you're on the field view monitor. I think I went for no on that as well. Uh, as far as everything else goes, under tools and crop protection, we have the Trident liquid back, 5,300 litres. It's 40.2 metres. It will do uh, liquid fertiliser or herbicide. 68,283. The options on that, we can have red booms or we can have stainless steel. I went with the stainless. I just thought the sun might glint off them a bit better. <laughs> and then the Trident tool lifter. Um, so these are... 14 slots for the Trident liquid tank, for the tool lifter, three slots, for the quick change tool, three slots. Uh, I don't think there's any options on that or that. You get them standard. So what we should be able to do... Now, something I will say straight off the bat. I lifted that onto that, to that, and put it on the back. When that was empty, no problem at all. Of course, it didn't dawn on me. I filled it up. I thought, oh, I need to take it apart now to, to, for the video. That's got 5,300 litres of liquid fertiliser in it. I needed to put a weight on the back. And even then, with the weight on the back, it's still... Yeah, you really need that tank to be empty for easy movement of the equipment. So what we will do is, hopefully... I've already got the tool on there. We'll put the quick change tool on. 
If we lift that up, that's got chains on it as well. Now I'm going to go right up and then zoom. We'll take that right up as well. We should be alright. And when we go over that, things work. There we go. Go back a little bit. Got a bit of a swing on that. There we go. Hook that up. Now we need to, if you look up top left hand corner, it's just so many different tool attachments. Lift that boom right up. That should be okay. Now the boom does go through the vehicle. What you can do if you want, and I, to be honest with you, it's probably what I would do, rather than do it this way. Um, so that. I can tilt that up and down as well, so I can get a little bit more height on if I want. But you just have to be careful with the weight. Is you would probably lift it up like that, then you would back this underneath it, which is probably going to be a little bit safer, easier, I guess. So what I would do is hop in. Now it is only front wheel steer. There's not an option if I do that. There's not an option to change the steering mode, but the actual turning circle on it, it turns really tightly. So that's not really too much of a problem. I'm pretty sure the new ones, I'm trying to think, who was I watching? What farm had one on trial? Yeah, I should have probably put the boom out a bit further because I've got the doubles on. Uh, where's it need to be? About there, I think. I'm sure it was about there. But as you can see, the booms will go through. It's not too much of an issue. If I lower that down a bit. Now the, the thing about it is you have to kind of get into position and then release it. And it's a bit kind of nerve wracking when you first you think, oh, is it going to fall off? Is it going to go all over the place? I'm not too sure. So fingers crossed, if I detach it now, it kind of sits on there. There's a little bit of wobble as you can see. Let's move that out of the way. And then once I get in this, it should give me the option to attach it. There we go. Attach. And all is good in the world. It wasn't particularly pretty, but that's how you do it. And like I say, once that's on, I'm not sure why you would need to take it off again. But, you know, that's in touch you. 5,300 litres, what I'm going to do is open it up to 40.2 metres. Now, the weird thing is it doesn't look like 40.2 metres because the vehicle itself is huge. So, the, the boom doesn't seem to stick out as far as you think. You think, oh, yeah, are you sure that's 40.2? But it is, it's a pretty big boom with What's also great is not only is it got a wide track, and I've got doubles on here, which makes it, or jewels, it looks even better, but L1, R1, and right sticks, I can take that even further. Look at the width of that. That's not going to topple over in a, in a windstorm. And then we can raise and lower the boom as well to match the height of whatever you want. And off you go. What an absolute beauty this is. And look at the speed. Look at the speed. We're putting down liquid fertilizer at 21 miles an hour. That's amazing. What an awesome, awesome, awesome bit of kit. Very maneuverable. I like the bounce in it all as well. Um, horn, beacon. As you can see, the beacon that side is higher, as is the wing mirror, because of the railing. Turn that off. Oh, we can put the track back in if we want to. Let's how do you want to go about it. Interior. Nice, neat and tidy. Vision's pretty good. I love the fact you can see the wheels as well when you go for the jewels on the outside of the frame there. Awesome, and I think we do have. Let's just go in there again. I'm pretty sure we have a, do we have a door that opens. I thought we had a door that opened. Yes, we do. R1 and right stick up and down. We can open that door. Just saw that. There we go. So you can have the door open to scoop a bit of air in while you're going along. But yeah, what a bit of kit that is. It's amazing. Case IH Trident 5500. I cannot go over the speed that goes at while you're, you're fertilizing or spreading herbicide. That's by Case Arias Modding. Told you it was awesome mods today. For all various different reasons. 
that's it. Well, the mods for today. Hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.